We recently took a look at the best footballer from every country in Europe, and fear not, we plan to explore other continents imminently. But we take a step back and become a little more insular this week. When we did our video looking at the best footballer from every US state, a very many of you asked for a similar video, but for the various counties that make up England and or the United Kingdom. Now, I never quite realised just how convoluted the definition of a county is, and there's great debate over county status. So in the interest of clarity, we have just stuck to the ceremonial counties of England for now, although I should note that we have merged the City of London and Greater London since it would be the same player, as well as omitting the tiny county of Rutland, since we weren't aware of any footballers hailing from there. As always, it is just the county that the player was born in. Here are the best footballers from every county in England. Bedfordshire, Sean Maguire. Going in alphabetical order, we start with Bedfordshire, and one or two sources suggest that recent England debutant Ben Chilwell was born in Bedford, but upon further inspection, we think he was born in Milton Keynes. It was a choice of Sean Maguire or Lewis Baker for our first county then, and we've gone with the Republic of Ireland International. A smart centre forward who was prolific for Cork, Maguire has scored 10 goals in 24 games since joining Preston North End. Berkshire, Charlie Austin. A deadly but injury prone centre forward currently at Southampton, Charlie Austin is our pick for Berkshire. Born in Hungerford, the former non-league man scored 18 goals in the 2014-15 Premier League season for Queen's Park Rangers, but he has never won a cap for England. Bristol, Bobby Reid. It was a straight shootout between Joe Bryan and Bobby Reid for Bristol. Both players impressed for their local side before making moves to the Premier League in the summer and we've just edged towards Reid, who joined Cardiff for £10 million in June. Buckinghamshire, Deli Alley. Ben Chilwell may well have been born in Milton Keynes, but he doesn't take the county of Buckinghamshire. That title goes to Deli Alley, the devilish young goal-getting midfielder who has already backed 38 Premier League goals as well as winning 31 caps for England at the age of 22. Cambridgeshire, Nick Pope. A number of the England squad that reached the semi-finals of the 2018 World Cup make this list, and the first is Nick Pope. The Burnley shot stopper was excellent last season, but he'll face stiff competition for a starting berth at Turf Moor once he returns from injury. Cheshire, Jesse Lingard. One of the more competitive counties in the country in terms of footballing talent, fellow Burnley goalkeeper and England international Tom Heaton could have featured here, but the right choice is Jesse Lingard. The hard-working Warrington-born winger or attacking midfielder scored 13 goals for Manchester United last season, as well as bagging one of the goals of the tournament at the 2018 World Cup. Cornwall, John Ruddy. Cornwall isn't really renowned for its footballing brilliance, and that shows in their selection. John Ruddy is a decent goalkeeper who won promotion with Wolves following seven years with Norwich last season, but he has played second fiddle to Rui Patricio since the Portuguese goalkeeper arrived at Molyneux. Cumbria, Glenn Murray. A centre forward who is ageing like a fine wine, Glenn Murray's intelligent movement and sharp shooting saw him bag 14 goals last season. Age 35, the Brighton forward is currently on course for his best ever top flight campaign, with four goals from seven games so far this season. Derbyshire, Jamal Lascelles. A centre back who many Newcastle United fans felt should have been in Gareth Southgate's England squad, Jamal Lascelles has looked a very accomplished centre back at St James's Park since the Magpies were relegated to the Championship in 2016. An excellent captain at the age of 24, Lascelles is strong and solid, and an England call up will arrive at some stage. Devon, Ollie Watkins. We really ought to mention Southampton defender Jack Stevens, but our choice for Devon is Brentford star Ollie Watkins. The 22-year-old followed in the footsteps of players like Gareth Bale and Wilfred Zaha by winning the EFL Young Player of the Year award before a £1.8 million move to Brentford, where he has since scored 15 goals in 56 games from the wing. Dorset, Ben Dickinson. Dorset hasn't historically been a footballing hub, but perhaps with the success of Bournemouth, the county's footballing production line will pick up over the next few years. For now though, we're going to have to go with Ben Dickinson, a quick and versatile left-sided player currently turning out for Colchester in League 2. Durham, James Morrison. Born in Darlington but capped 46 times by Scotland, our choice for Durham is James Morrison. A hard-working and intelligent midfielder who is good on the ball, Morrison has been with West Bromwich Albion since 2007, and he was the club's player of the year in 2015. East Sussex, Lewis Dunk. There wasn't a great deal to split Bournemouth centre-back Steve Cook and Brighton centre-back Lewis Dunk, but we think Dunk probably just has a little bit more about him. 
tough in the tackle and a real force in the air, Dunk was born in Brighton, and he has played 235 games for the Seagulls. East Yorkshire, Jack Marriott. There were a couple of candidates from the East Riding of Yorkshire, but our pick would be Jack Marriott. The quick Beverley-born forward scored 33 goals for Peterborough last season, prompting a £2.5 million move to Derby County. Essex, James Tompkins. It was between Charlie Daniels and James Tompkins for Essex, and in the end we've gone for Tompkins. An industrious and disciplined footballer who is really solid at the back, we could never quite understand why West Ham sold him, but their loss was Crystal Palace's game. Gloucestershire, Eric Dyer. He may not be the flavour of the month right now, but Eric Dyer is comfortably the best footballer from Gloucestershire. The 24-year-old was born in Cheltenham, but his family moved to Portugal when he was only seven. Dyer made his name with Sporting Club de Portugal, but he has been back in England playing under Maurizio Pochettino at Tottenham since 2014, as well as winning 34 caps for the English national team. Greater London, Harry Kane. The finest footballer on this list, Harry Kane is England's star man and a quite brilliant goalscorer. Born in Walthamstow, London, even right now, when Kane is being described as not quite at it, he has already begun the season with five goals from eight games. The 25-year-old two-time Premier League and one-time World Cup Golden Boot winner has scored 145 goals in 221 games for Tottenham. Greater Manchester, Kieran Trippier. From James Tarkovsky to Danny Welbeck, there were loads of options for Greater Manchester, but in the end, it came down to Marcus Rashford and Kieran Trippier. That's a really tough choice, but Trippier is a regular at Spurs and was England's best player at the World Cup so the right back gets the nod from us, whilst Rashford struggles to start in an out of sorts, United side. Hampshire, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. Another decent county in terms of producing talent, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain still has to be the pick of the bunch from Hampshire. The England international is quick, lively, and good on the ball. He looks revitalized following a move from Arsenal to Liverpool before a serious injury dashed his hopes of featuring in either a Champions League final or England's World Cup run. Herefordshire, Jared Bowen. Connor Wickham would have been the obvious choice for Herefordshire since he's still a Premier League player with Crystal Palace, but we're not convinced. We think Jared Bowen is a better footballer, the 21-year-old from Leo Minster, possessing good technique and a handy left foot. He was Hull City's top scorer last season with 15 goals, and he's already got 3 from 10 so far this term. Hertfordshire, Adam Lallana. There are no shortage of options for Hertfordshire, but Adam Lallana is a player we like, so he gets the nod over Jack Wilshire and Ashley Young for us. Age 30 now, Lallana has struggled with injuries recently, but he's an intelligent midfield schemer who is good on the ball. Isle of Wight, Lewis Buxton. Off the British mainland, but still an English ceremonial county, the Isle of Wight's finest footballer is Lewis Buxton, who is currently a free agent. The 34-year-old right-back most recently played for Bolton Wanderers, having previously turned out for the likes of Portsmouth, Stoke and Sheffield Wednesday. Kent, George Thorne. A classy central or holding midfield player who we like a lot, George Thorne has had some pretty dreadful luck when it comes to injuries. Two crucial ligament injuries and a leg break have basically cost him two years of football, but he's still our choice for Kent. A former England youth international, Thorne can be a big player for Frank Lampard if the Derby boss can keep him fit. Lancashire, Phil Jones. This was a tough one. Jay Rodriguez is in the form of his life with seven goals in 10 games for West Bromwich Albion, whilst Phil Jones isn't having a great time at Manchester United, so I knew this wouldn't be a popular choice. I still think it's the right one though. Jones may need a fresh start, but there's obviously a player in there, and he has won 27 caps for England, still aged only 26. Leicestershire, Liam Moore. Another centre back, it's a little bit surprising that Liam Moore is still playing for Reading. An intelligent defender with good speed and strength, Moore has previously played for Leicester in the Premier League. We think he's a really good player, and at 25, we're a little surprised the Royals managed to hang on to him over the summer. Lincolnshire, Sam Klukas. It was a choice of Sam Klukas or Patrick Bamford for this one, but since Klukas has proved himself at a high level, we've gone for him over the Leeds United match. Klukas really came to life during Marco Silva's brief stint in charge of Hull City, producing form which convinced Swansea City to pay £16.5 million for him. He was relegated in his first season in Wales, and they took a big hit when they sold him to Stoke for £6 million in August. Merseyside, Trent Alexander-Arnold. We had a bit of a quandary trying to pick between Ross Barkley and Wayne Rooney here, and then we remembered Trent Alexander-Arnold. 
The Liverpool right back may only be 19, but he is already a regular under Jurgen Klopp, taking over from Nathaniel Klein. That's a mark of his talents, and he's our choice for Merseyside. Norfolk, Angus Gunn. A young goalkeeper who joined Southampton from Manchester City for £13.5 million in the summer, Angus Gunn impressed on loan at Norwich last season. The 22-year-old was back playing in the city of his birth last term, but he's yet to make a league appearance this season since signing for the Saints. Northamptonshire, Carl Darlow. Newcastle United's second choice goalkeeper, Carl Darlow was their number one when they won promotion from the Championship a couple of seasons ago. An agile and alert shot stopper formerly of Nottingham Forest, Darlow was born in Northampton, and he is our choice for Northamptonshire. Northumberland, Fraser Forster. Well, it seems to have become goalkeeper central here, and the third in a row is Fraser Forster. A fellow backup of Angus Guns to Alex McCarthy at Southampton, the club were reportedly open to offers for the giant shot stopper over the summer, but he is still at St Mary's. North Yorkshire, Ben Gibson. Recent Burnley recruit Ben Gibson should get his chance to shine at Turf Moor now, following a recent injury to James Tarkovsky. A solid centre-back who is good in the tackle, Gibson joined the Clarets for a joint club record fee of £15 million from Middlesbrough. Nottinghamshire, Tom Kearney. This was a really tricky one, and I'm sure some people would have gone with Wes Morgan or Simon Francis. Although Morgan was excellent in Leicester City's title-winning campaign, he is 34 now, and Tom Kearney is a classy midfielder. Fulham's captain and the man who scored the goal which won them promotion to the Premier League, he has made the PFA Championship Team of the Year twice. Oxfordshire, Callum O'Dowder. Oxfordshire may be breeding ground for some of the world's finest academics, but it isn't breeding ground for some of the world's finest footballers. The county's best player is Callum O'Dowder, formerly of Oxford United, who now plays as a left winger for Bristol City. Shropshire, Joe Hart. England's number four, as he has recently been described, a title Joe Hart says he'll take, the four-time Premier League Golden Glove winner has made a very good start to life at Burnley, after a tough couple of seasons with Torino and West Ham. The former Man City star was quickly replaced by Pep Guardiola, but he finally looks to be getting back to form. Somerset, Jack Butland. There seem to be as many goalkeepers in this list as there were in our recent one on every US day, and unlike on that occasion, this time it does come as some surprise. Jack Butland is undoubtedly the finest footballer from Somerset, although the England international is currently playing in the Championship, following Stoke City's relegation. South Yorkshire, Cal Walker. Only Greater London, which has almost seven times as many people, can rival South Yorkshire in terms of current talent in the English game. John Stones, Harry Maguire, Danny Rose and Jamie Vardy all had to be considered, but in the end we've gone with Cal Walker. The £50 million fullback was excellent for Man City under Pep Guardiola last season, and we think he's among the best right-backs on the planet. Staffordshire, Ryan Woods. The hardest decision in this entire list for me was provided by Staffordshire. That decision was between Markle Brighton and Ryan Woods. One a Premier League winner doing it at the highest level, the other playing for a struggling Stoke City side in the Championship. I've gone for the unpopular choice, but the correct one, just in my eyes. Ryan Woods is a wonderful central midfielder with all the tools to play for at least any of the teams outside the top six or seven in the Premier League. Suffolk, Joe Lewis. That's right, another goalkeeper, although somewhat more interestingly, I think I'm right in saying that Joe Lewis is the first player in this list who doesn't play his club football in England. Born in Bury St Edmunds, the 30-year-old shot stopper currently plays for Aberdeen in the Scottish Premiership. Sorry, Will Hughes. Highly regarded from a young age, it took a little longer than expected for Will Hughes to get his first taste of top flight football, but it's worth reminding yourself that he's still only 23. Previously linked with the likes of Man City, Liverpool and Barcelona, the intelligent and intricate central midfielder ended up at Watford, where he has made a bright start to the season. Tyne and Weir, Jordan Pickford. Another tricky one, it was a tale of two Jordans for Tyne and Weir, both of whom now play on Merseyside. We've gone for Jordan Pickford over Jordan Henderson, England's number one having recently signed a new six-year deal at Everton and now expecting his first child. Warwickshire, Tom Lees. A centre-back who looked a bit of a liability during his time at Leeds United, but has become a big fan favourite with Yorkshire rival Sheffield Wednesday, Tom Lees has been really consistent since joining the Owls in 2014. West Midlands, Daniel Sturridge. Another county blessed with a plethora of very good footballers, I suspect many of you would opt for one of Troy Deeney, Callum Wilson or Marcus Madison. 
The last of those, Leicester City's new boy Madison, in particular, came close, but it's just a little too early in his life at the highest level to go with him. Since this is based on ability, it's hard to overlook Daniel Sturridge, who would be a top-class player if not for injuries. His recent strikes against Chelsea are a mark of his talents, so he takes this one for us. West Sussex, Joel Ward. An underrated defender who we are big fans of, Joel Ward has recently lost his place in the Crystal Palace side to fantasy football favourite Aaron Wan-Bissaka. Ward has been with Palace for six years now, and his versatility makes him a really useful squad player to have around. West Yorkshire, James Milner. We'll give a shout out to Fabian Delph, but top spot for West Yorkshire has to go to James Milner. Another incredibly versatile footballer, Milner was born in Leeds, but he currently stars for Liverpool. A first-class professional whose attitude is unquestionable, Milner's technical abilities as a footballer are often underrated. Wiltshire, Nathan Dyer. Closing in on our final county, and our penultimate pick is Nathan Dyer. Born in Trowbridge and a product of the Southampton Academy, the Swansea City wide man has spent almost a decade at the Liberty Stadium, and he was the club's man of the match in the final of their 2013 League Cup success. Worcestershire, Joe Lolly. Born in Redditch and a former star of the non-league game, Joe Lolly made six appearances in the Premier League for Huddersfield Town last season. A direct wide man who likes to run with the ball and can operate on either flank, Lolly joined Nottingham Forest in January 2018. So that's it for our Not Actually a 7. Thanks for watching, give us a like if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe to HITC7s. You can also follow us on Twitter at HITC7s.